Hello. As you guys know, I'm currently on a quest for the Great New England Sea Serpent, which has been seen in throughout the throughout the, throughout New England and from uh, Cape Ann, Gloucester, Cape Cod, uh, Maine. But it's also seen in Middletown, Connecticut, which is um, which is about 15 miles up the Connecticut River. Now you'd imagine that, well. If that's the case, it would have to handle fresh and salt water. Well, not necessarily, because the Connecticut River, even as far um, inland as Windsor Locks, which is about an additional uh, 20, um, t um, f five mi um, 15 miles up the river from Middletown, it, it um, it is a tidal scenario, and I've personally seen this. In high tide, the flow of water is actually upriver. I've personally seen this, at, even at Middletown. So it could be that it, um, the salt water would allow the salinity at Middletown would allow a seagull, a strictly salt water animal, to be in far as far inland as. Middletown, but that would depend on what the salt water from the salinity would have been on at 6 p.m. No, at 6 a.m. at on September 8, 1888, which is when the sighting was done. How to do that? With this, a refractometer. But since I just got this about two days ago, um, I have to calibrate this. Um, so how do you do that? Straight up DI water. This is what's in here. So how do you do it? Let me take your eyedropper. Probably can't see what I'm doing right now, but take your eyedropper, you take some of it out. Um, you know. And then you pour it on to the top. Close it, and then you view it. And well, And as you can see, it is zero, effectively zero. Actually, no, it's a little bit higher. So, um, to calibrate it, take, there it is. And take your calibration tool Turn it. And now, so add it. That's pretty darn good. Almost perfect. That is effectively zero salinity. So, um, and the, so um, that is now at zero, zero, zero salinity. And tomorrow I'm going to get over to Middletown. Try to get there at effectively the exact same time with the tides the equivalent of what it was, which is tomorrow. See you tomorrow.